we have is getting international attention. Web reporter Mindy Mizell has that story, Mindy. Well, Toya, this is a very interesting website. There are two unique uh, features about this Tulsa Rehab Center. One, everyone who participates in it basically eats a diet that's mostly raw foods. The second thing that's interesting about this rehab center is that it's virtual, meaning it's completely online. Let's take out to the website and show you what I'm talking about. This is rawfoodrehab.com. Uh, basically, it acts and looks and feels like a rehab center, uh, but it's virtual. It's all online. Uh, but it does break it down into rooms or sections where you can basically get support like a rehab. Uh, you've got the vault, you've got the culinary center, the liquid lounge, the pantry, the fitness room. And each of these acts and feel like a real rehab center. Hospitality desk, for example, people can go to that and ask questions uh, about how this program works. You can continue to scroll down on this site. And basically, you can see the people who've gotten involved and uh, what they're talking about. Basically, today uh, marks the start of an 11-week uh, rehab that is basically going to be challenging participants to eat a diet that consists of 80% raw food. So it's really interesting, uh, LaToya, the people that, that are wanting to do this. They say they basically are doing it for two reasons. One is to lose weight. Uh, the other is to just challenge themselves spiritually, mentally, and physically to try to do such a thing. LaToya? 11 weeks. So how do they know if uh, people are not kicking that habit of going and cooking their food up and, and eating bad food? Well, this is just an accountability system that's online. Let me show you the website one more time, rawfoodrehab.com. There is actually even a blog where it can explain all the information, realfoodtulsa.blogspot. If you want to read about what Tulsa um, is, is doing here with this rehab center, you can basically do that. Now, Latoya, we're actually being joined by uh, the creator of Raw Food Rehab, Penny Shelton, uh, who has been the one who started this whole thing. Now, Penny, thanks for joining us this morning. I've got to ask you, though, why are you doing this? Uh, you know, the whole thing really just started um, on a whim. I was, uh, was writing a book on natural health and raw foods uh, from a cleansing perspective and decided that I needed some input, maybe some guinea pigs, if you will, to actually do the program. And so uh, we spent 11 weeks following this program. We had such amazing transformations and success that as a group we decided we needed to open the doors to the rest of the world and let them have an opportunity to try this whole rehab situation and see what they think. Well, Penny, I know one of our producers there in Tulsa is participating in this. And, and really, is this a healthy way to lose weight? I think it's one of the healthiest ways you can lose weight. I mean, it's basically taking food in its natural state. It's unprocessed real food, food that's grown on trees, out of the ground. It's, it's basically learning to eat a diet more of natural and living foods, um, preferably uh, cooked the least amount as possible. We really do focus a lot on learning and teaching people how to eat raw food. I mean, people think raw food is just salad and carrots, but it's actually so much more. Now, uh, Penny, I know that uh, you're really putting Tulsa on the map here. This uh, program, this rehab center, is basically getting international attention. Uh, tell me a little bit about some of the folks you're getting or seeing involved in this. Yeah, it's just really blown my mind. I had no idea when we opened the doors. I actually then wrote down some of the countries. We have members from Indonesia, Greece, Japan, Sweden, Saudi Arabia, New Zealand, oh. Australia, Italy, wow. Virgin Islands. I mean, we have people that have checked in from all over the globe. It's really exciting. Now, I'm going to show people that website one more time. Can you just tell me some of the resources that we're looking at here online for people who uh, are wanting to get involved in this? What can they expect? What are some of the resources and tools to help them through this challenge? Well, that's really the reason I created it, and I virtually created it just like if you were to go away to a holistic, natural health spa or to check yourself into a rehab unit. I mean, uh, food can definitely be an addiction, but we definitely try to treat the whole person we um, offer everything from the kitchen, which is filled with recipes, to uh, a common area where people can come. We actually have a book club that's going on there right now. We have a fitness area where we're at. We have a walking club that's just gotten started. So it's amazing the kind of relationships that have gotten built um, just we're, with the people on the side. We're just about out of time, but I want to ask you the two late to sign up for folks who want to participate in this 11-week uh, program that's kicking off today. Absolutely not. You can go to rawfoodrehab.com, and we are taking people always. We, we don't have a cutoff date, but today is the starting date, so it would be great to get in today if you could. 
Thank you, Penny Shelton, creator of Raw Food Rehab. We're just about out of time now, but I just want to say, say thanks for joining us this morning. Latoya, we're going to pitch it on back to you now. Okay, big things happen in Tulsa, and the world is watching, apparently. Thank you so much for that. Well, time to check.